I could just hear gunshots. I just told the kids, run, duck, jump, run, hop, this, that. Kids was running everywhere. A story you're seeing only on News 4 tonight. We're speaking with the driver of the bus that was caught in the crossfire of a St. Louis gun battle. That gunfight erupted Friday afternoon, sending students and that driver running for cover. The driver is still recovering tonight, and she's speaking only to News 4's Emily Pritchard. Emily, thankfully, no one was hit by the gunfire. That's right, Sam and Steve. T Tamika Richardson was rushed here to this hospital on Friday. Tonight, she is still inside, recovering after surgery. She told me this Monday morning was the first time she had not been behind the wheel of a school bus in more than two decades. And after what unfolded Friday, she doesn't plan on returning. And all I know, a hard boom, the bus turned. The bus went up on a hill or hit somebody's house and I could just hear gunshots. The last time we saw Tamika Richardson, paramedics were helping her onto a stretcher. I was just calling on God, the man upstairs, because it happened all so quickly. Days later, she needs assistance from a wheelchair. And they had to do surgery, stitch my chin up. Richardson was driving this school bus Friday afternoon with 13 students on board when shots rang out, causing a crash. I just told the kids, run, duck, jump, run, hop, this, that. Kids was running everywhere. Investigators say people in an SUV were firing at a red car. That red car is what hit Richardson's bus, sending it up a hill and into a home. What do you think those kids are going through now? They probably traumatized just as much as the bus driver I am. Richardson tells me outside of the hospital where she's being treated and expecting to undergo rehab, she ran and hopped a fence before police arrived to rope off the scene. She's grateful for many who came to help. To me and the kids didn't even know, and I just thank God for all this mercy. The 13 kids and me didn't get killed. Richardson wants the students to know she's thinking of them. That I love them, thank them for cooperating with me. It wasn't an easy process, but by the grace of God, we made it. Thank you, Jesus. Richardson tells me that she hopes none of her coworkers ever have to go through something like this. She also adds she is praying for those people that are responsible for the shooting. As far as we know, police are still looking for the people inside that SUV. Reporting live in the Central West End tonight, Emily Pritchard, News 4.